Something's wrong. Something ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I just had the experience of going back into the other side. I just did a feature film as an actor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I did all everything I asked you guys to do. Yeah. I did it, developed the character. I didn't get much. Um, I just got a script. I didn't even get a character breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. And I told the, the director, I said, I'm making some really bold choices. And he was like, bring it. Yeah. And I said, okay. And uh, so I did all the work and I felt ready. But then I, I what I learned about um, even more so about myself is that you could do all the work, but once you're in the environment and then you're across from the person you're playing with, it, it's a, it's different. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that was just another level of what I can teach f as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I realized is how much I love the camera. Yeah. Like that first uh, scene when, <clears throat> You know, I'm with the uh, the the lead actor mm -hmm. uh, Lo who's playing Lola. That's the name of the film, Lola. Yeah. And I felt the camera panning in. I felt like, oh shit, here she comes. And I had to. I said, and I felt. I said, that's not. And I knew to myself, where's your fourth wall? Bitch? <laughs> You're the I was like, where's your fourth yeah, yeah, yeah. wall? Right. Yeah. So I was like, okay, all right. So he's like, okay, that was a rehearsal. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do one. Mm -hmm. So I had to re-engage and build like a really thick fourth wall. Yeah. yeah. So that camera is not supposed to exist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. For those of you who uh, are studying, that camera should not exist. But the camera, as at the same time, could be a, uh, an enemy or a lover. Mm -hmm. So you have to get it together. Make a choice, That's motherfuckers. Right. Make a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this um the other day too one of the hardest things i'm no teacher and this is a art yes form, you are i'm a teacher yes i am a teacher but i i've come <laughs> under such amazing teachers like yourself susan batson also bob cracker my friend ian witt um all these people that are so great and i put it on a pedestal a little bit i can be good at it but you guys are coming from a completely different place. And I got to come from where I'm coming from, of course. Mm -hmm. But being on set and being sensitive to other people's uh, methods, one of the most important things that I learned on being on set is to, like, shut the fuck up or just being able to read energies or just, like, you know, be friendly, be nice. It's such yeah. an interesting dynamic that I you got to learn, like, this i know and you know i guess uh when i was hired i had to you know we had a meet and greet and i said i approach this with divine humility mm -hmm. i'm you know i'm here as an actor not as a director you know because i've been mm -hmm. directing like crazy so yeah. i had to kept remind this is this is not your project marisha this yeah. is not your yeah. project but you know what was funny mm -hmm. Some of the actors would be like, what you see? Is there anything? I <laughs> Is there anything I should? And, I, and you know, no. I, I wasn't hired to do that, but I want 210% from everyone. So, of course, you know, if you ask me what can I do to make the scene better, I had to I had to tell them. But I didn't offer. Drop gems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can we keep up with you? What are you up to? What are you working on right now? How can we keep up with what you will be working on later? What's going on? 